Ryan, I met you in this past November mm -hmm. in Vegas, and I gonna, remember I was there. You were there. Yeah. You were there. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk a little bit later uh, in the interview about Instagram and the power of Instagram. But it's kind of a funny story. Um, I was at the Kevin Murphy show in Las Vegas, and I saw this guy three rows in front of me uh, doing an Instagram story. And he was just so excited to be there. <laughs> and uh, Melissa, my coworker, and I were just like scrolling through basically Instagram and all the people that were at the Kevin Murphy show. And I started watching his Instagram story and realized like, oh my gosh, that's the, the guy. That's the Masters of Balayage guy. Um, <laughs> so we are like, how can we meet him? So we, we Instagram messaged him and we're basically like, we really want to meet you. We're out in the hallway, and I think we decided to meet like near the scissor table or something like meet that. Meet me at the scissor table. Maybe at the scissor yeah. table. <laughs> and it was awesome. We just got chatting, and mm -hmm. we found out you had told us there that you were coming up to Vancouver to teach a class. And mm -hmm. from there, like the majority of our salon signed up for the class. Um, so it's it's really cool how this free tool can connect people from literally all over the country. I mean, right. We randomly met at a hair show, and you're coming up here from San Diego. We're in Vancouver now. We're taking your class, uh -huh. so um, yeah, it was it was pretty funny. But tell us a little bit about the class that you're going to be teaching this weekend. Well, first of all, have you ever had a? I've had nightmares where like one day you wake up and Instagram's gone. I've never had. That <laughs> it's like, please be, please, please don't happen. Yeah. No. Uh, but it's just, it's just um, the same thing with Yelp. It's like, what if Yelp just disappeared one day? It's like, you're just the internet's gone. And you're just like, I think about that with Google Maps. I'm like, if Google mm -hmm. Maps wasn't yeah, there, Yeah, right. I would How would I know where to get anywhere? Yeah. yeah. You know, GPS was just non existent. It was just gone. Yeah. Just 10 years ago. I don't ago even think that. like real maps. It's only, exist it's only like anymore. 10 years ago, none of this existed. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what was the question? Um, mm. The question was about <laughs> your class this weekend that you're going to oh, be yeah. teaching. Yeah. It's a master's balayage class, advanced balayage. This one's gonna be solely me teaching. Uh, the way it's designed is I usually start out with a demo. I'll demo some techniques on a couple of models. I have, I think, two models for, I have two classes, one tomorrow, one the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, two models each day. I've never met these models, I've seen their hair, done whatever kind of a consultation I can over chat and whatnot and pictures back and forth. It's only gone wrong once. <laughs> I, was <gonna laughs> I, say, I, only had, I only had to send away one person. She came in with this much of gray root, and I'm just like, mm, no. Okay, I'm like, here's fifty bucks. I'm sorry, see ya. Yeah. It's not gonna work out. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I uh, the thing I like about my classes. This is what I like that I think people are really drawn to in my classes. They're all different. Every class is different. I don't have a set curriculum each time. Maybe I should, but it's like a lot of times I'm thinking on the fly. I'm doing different things. I'm constantly growing and trying new things because I don't want to get bored. If I do the same thing every class, I'm going to get bored. Mm -hmm. I also want people that have taken one of my classes to think like, well, I don't, want ever, I don't ever want somebody to say, oh, I've already taken his class. Right. Like, no, I'm going to take his class again because he's going to do something different, something new. Uh, I'm always experimenting. I'm always trying new things. I learned something mind-blowingly new each week I feel like and uh, and I get to share it and that's what I do so the first part of the day is I'm sharing new techniques I'm talking about my book I'm just engaging with everybody I'm trying to answer everybody's questions I make it as personable as possible but with these classes that I'm teaching tomorrow the next day and, and for the next half of the year probably the whole year they're gonna be classes where you come in with your questions, like what questions do you, what do you wanna learn? What do you wanna take away from it? And I wanna give that to you. I have experience in all different kinds of hair, all different types of scenarios. It's not all blonde, it's not all dark, it's not all backcombing, it's not all hand painting. It's just, my goal, my focus is on the working stylist. That stylist that doesn't have time to spend a session with somebody that's more than three hours. I want people to be able to make more money so that they can turn and burn these clients with amazing techniques, less is more, to show them how to combine multiple techniques to make one beautiful result. And that's what I aim to do because I ain't got time to sit around and wait. I'm like, 
most clients aren't going to come in and sit for six hours and spend $700. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to happen. Not realistic, it's not right? realistic. Um, so, but you can make $700 if you get two people in, you know what I mean? In that same time slot. So that's makes more sense and it's consistent. And I, I work for the, I, I teach for the busy stylist mm -hmm. and that's what these classes are all designed to do. Awesome. Now I know that you said, um, you get a lot of your inspiration from looking at other stylists work on Instagram. Are there any classes that you personally have taken that have really kind of taken your balayage to the next level? Or are there any stylists in particular that you, that you look up to maybe when you started doing balayage and um, you know, tried to emulate their work? Yeah, actually, well, first of all, I haven't, I haven't taken any balayage classes. I, I, I took, I, I took, I bought the videos from Candy Shaw and right, yeah. she was like my initial inspiration and then I just, I'd been meaning to take classes, but before I know it, I'm teaching classes, and I'm like, I just haven't taken a balayage class. I want to take classes because I want to get inspired, but now I hear there's like people don't want me taking classes, and there's this like weird thing right. because I'll be, have you heard that 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 um, some I talked to Lisa loves balayage because we talk every now and then. I'm taking her class soon. I can't okay. wait. Yeah, I awesome. can't wait. But like. Somebody asked her not to take one of her classes because they don't want her to learn their skills. And I'm just like, why? I mean, we all borrow and steal from everybody else, but give credit where credit's due. Exactly. But it's like you get to a certain level and it's just like, who knows where you learn something? You know, you learn it from all these great people. Rarely does somebody come up with a, the, this, this fantastic idea out of the blue. It's like right. everything's been done, everything's been copied. It's just like, just give credit where it is and pass it along. You learn something great, pass it along. Because it's only gonna help boost you, boost somebody else, and, and people that steal for the purpose of stealing, that's it's terrible. You know, because they don't, they steal it and they don't wanna give it back because it's there, they're right. stealing it. You know, but if you, if you borrow somebody's idea, make it your own, and then share it, that's what it's all about. Because we're all gonna grow together as an industry that way. Um, Going back to the, the initial question that you had mentioned, um, one person that really inspired me was Jamie C, Pretty Little Ombre. Yeah. She's awesome. She's the first one I saw using the paintbrush. When I first saw that, I'm like, such a gimmick. Yeah. You know, she's doing this <laughs> yeah. goddamn gimmicky thing. I'm like, just to get video likes, right? And then one day I'm like, give me that damn paintbrush. She went and bought one. I'm like, God damn it, it works. Yeah. <laughs> and I started using it. I'm like, then I'm like, all oh, about the paintbrush. And yeah. I'm using the paintbrush all the time. And, and so she was one that I always look to. And I'm like, what is she doing now? How is she achieving this? And I, she's got a great online course as well. I don't know if you've I've seen that. I haven't seen that one, so, no. Very good. Yeah, yeah, very good one. So um, she she's good. I can't wait to see Lisa's class. But other than that, I really want to take other, other people's classes. I see all these... Um, inspiring people and I'm hoping to with Masters of Balayage to bring some of them in and that way I can step back and they can headline. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the future of Masters of Balayage. That's Because awesome. it's exhausting traveling and I've only done it for a few months. Yeah. Six months, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and I'm like, okay, I, 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 I can stand back now and be the MC and boost other people up. You know, I'll still be doing hair, but I'm like, what's my exit strategy? Right. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's really cool though. Um, just I mean, with social media, and I think just with I think the new generation of hairstylists coming up is like what you said about not keeping things to yourself and and just sharing them openly. Because mm -hmm. I feel like any time that I've shared you know a technique with somebody, I've seen them kind of take it and run with it and take it to a new level. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just really feel like that kind of that sharing. Um, philosophy, it, it just ends up making you a better, stronger stylist right. and then you're looked at as, you know, a trusted advisor mm -hmm. in the industry. Whereas I feel like we just all keep that kind of stuff right. to ourselves. We really stagnate our own careers. Sure. And it's also upgrading the industry. Absolutely. And I, when I first heard that, I'm like, yeah, okay, upgrading the industry. Tony and Guy talked about that a lot. Like, let's upgrade the industry. I'm like, okay, whatever that means, right? Yeah. But now I think I'm starting to understand what that means and it means that people aren't going to look at us like, we're like this low scum of the earth, like you couldn't get a real job so you're a hairstylist, right? People are gonna be like, I wanna be a hairstylist because I can make a lot of money, I can 
do a lot of things and have fun. Yeah. How many days, even the most stressful days that we have, are still so much better than most other people's days? And if you can make a lot of money while doing that, even better. Yeah. So th there are so many worse things we could be doing, and, and we're, sp we're spending these short lives that we have half of the time at work, maybe even more than half of the time at work, and it's like, for people that don't, that sit in our chair and they talk about their work days and how they hate their work and they live for the weekends, oh my gosh, yeah. I'd never want to be that person. I always want to be inspired and connected and, and just have a, a enriched, fulfilled life, and I feel like this is the industry for it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here, Ryan, and for taking the time to um, let us interview you. Thank you guys so much for checking out our video. Thank you. And uh, we're really excited to have Ryan here in Vancouver this weekend teaching a class. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for, for more videos. Thanks so much. Thank you.